Welcome to our new video. A new story came out these days saying that the Zorin OS team has released a beta version of the next iteration of their very popular Ubuntu based distribution, Zorin OS 16. Zorin OS is renowned for being flashy and polished user friendly distribution, so we really had to give it a try. First, the installation process is smooth and familiar. It's Ubuntu's Ubiquiti installer. If you have seen it one, you've seen them all. We covered the installation process in several of our previous videos, so we won't repeat it here. Once the operating system is installed, you can immediately see why Zorin OS is so popular. It's a clean and familiar user interface that will probably please everybody, newcomers and Linux veterans alike. If you are looking for a modern version of something like a Windows 7 user experience, there you have it. At the bottom of your screen there's a familiar dock. On the very right hand side of the dock there's your calendar. To the left of that there's a system tray area with usual items like volume or connection settings, followed by the applet for managing removable media. On the left hand side of the dock you'll find a shortcut for the software store and then the files shortcut. The files is actually the GNOME project's Nautilus application. In Zorin OS 16 beta it's version 3.36.3. .3. It looks really extraordinary, much better than vanilla GNOME in our opinion. Further left you'll find the Firefox browser icon and then workspaces, offering functionality to add or delete workspaces and to search for files, folders or applications. On the very left hand side of the dock there's a start menu that is really specific for Zorin OS. It does remind us of the Windows 7 start menu. Apps categories are on the left hand side of the menu, while places are on the right hand side of the start menu. There are many apps pre-installed. In the accessories section you'll find a basic text editor among the other things. There are several games pre-installed, like Mines or Mahjong. In the graphics section GIMP is there pre-installed, while the internet section comes with Firefox as the default web browser. The office section is populated by the majority of the LibreOffice suite apps. Interestingly, the sound and video category brings the PTV video editor. Many system tools are there and utilities as well, including system monitor. It shows that the system was using 1.2 GB of RAM while we were recording the video and opening and closing several applications. That is not too bad having in mind how resource-hungry GNOME desktop environment can be. Now let's check the software store. We search for Audacity, a quite popular audio editing application. Zorin OS software offers two versions, one from the Ubuntu repositories and one from the FlatHub. This means that Zorin OS 16 offers many sources for installing software. Zorin OS 16 offers a dock with many cool options. You just need to right click it and you'll have easy access to system monitor, files, settings and Zorin appearance. Let's check the settings app. It's the GNOME settings app basically, a place where you can set things like your network, Bluetooth, online accounts, sound, power, displays and so on. Desktop backgrounds are included too. Zorin OS 16 offers several high quality wallpapers. We tried just two of them. Zorin OS 16 is a Ubuntu 20.04 based distribution with a custom GNOME desktop environment, but it's more polished than vanilla GNOME and it has a very familiar user interface. And that can be changed if you wish so. Zorin Appearance provides a way to customize the desktop layout. The default one is something like Windows 7 with the dock and its pinned apps. The second one is Windows XP-like with the panel at the bottom of the screen. 
The third layout is with the app grid all over the screen, while the fourth one is with the dock on the left hand side of the screen. You can also change the accent color and switch between light and dark theme. There's an option to change icons too. Within the interface section of the Zorin Appearance app, you can turn on the so-called jelly mode, which enables you to have a good old wobbly windows feature. There's an option to customize your desktop and add some icons if you wish so. You can also change the taskbar itself. Its default size is 48. Like many other Ubuntu-based operating systems, Zorin OS 16 also offered us updates right after the installation. The OS is still in beta, yet it worked flawlessly. Desktop is active in Zorin OS 16, so we were able to create a new folder there. As we have already mentioned, Firefox is the default web browser and it's the Zorin OS customized. Its version 87.0, the latest one as of the time of recording the video. Speaking of browsers, let's check what Zorin OS software offers in that regard. We found there on Google Chromium both FlatHab and Snapcraft versions. Search for Vivaldi did not return any results, while we were able to find Opera browser, its Snap version. We also found Brave browser as a Snap and decided to install it. Checking it in the Start menu, we saw we were able to add it to the desktop and the app worked as it should. Many people need MS fonts in Linux. In Zorin OS 16, those fonts are not pre installed. We couldn't find them in LibreOffice. By the way, LibreOffice's version 7.1.2.2, also the latest one at the time of recording the video. MS fonts package is usually installed via Synaptic Package Manager in Ubuntu based distros, but here in Zorin OS 16, Synaptic is not pre installed too but we find it in software and installing it is an easy job. Installing MS fonts in Synaptic was a familiar process and items like Arial were now among the others in LibreOffice Writer. Although in beta, Zorin OS worked flawlessly for us. We successfully completed all the basic tasks. Now let's see all the new things the Zorin OS team announced the other day. They say Zorin OS 16 brings in a stunning new look. Faster and smoother performance. A larger app library with FlatHab now included, so Zorin OS 16 supports several popular app formats. The changes also included touchpad gestures, a new sound recorder app and other improvements. The Zorin OS team has also announced that they would offer a Windows 10 X like the desktop layout. You can test Zorin OS 16 Beta 2. Thank you for watching, please give us a like, share the video and subscribe. See you next time.